Hey everyone, it's Sally Eslin here with Magic Mark Moments and today I'm very, very excited to sit down and have a chat with Kathy, Kathy Niederhood Risa. So welcome Kathy, thanks for coming along to Magic Mark today. Thank you Sally <laughs> for this opportunity. So I might just introduce you with a little bit from your bio. So you are a dynamic individual with a deep-rooted passion for health and wellness with a recent certification in health and nutrition and plant medicine from Cornell University. You, Kathy has expanded her expertise in promoting holistic well-being and healthy lifestyle choices right up my alley. So Kathy is committed to sharing her knowledge with others and she strives to inspire individuals to make informed decisions about their health and embrace sustainable lifestyle changes. So Kathy contributes in, to um, initiatives aimed at promoting wellness within her community. She's a catalyst for positive change in the lives of those around her and stands at the forefront, forefront, take note, of the movement towards a healthier, happier society armed with the knowledge and passion to make a meaningful difference in the lives of others. So welcome, Kathy, right up my alley, everything that you're doing. But what I particularly love is that you're at the forefront, the movement of, of new um new tools and techniques to help people step into a healthier way of life. Thank you, Sally. Thank you. Yes, so, it is. It's needed at this time, I believe. It totally is. So do you want to share a little bit about your journey and some of the ups and downs that you've had that have brought you to today and what you're doing? Because it's like sure. a mm. Yeah, sure. Thank you very much. Um, on my journey, when um, I was younger, my doctor had kind of told me I was borderline breast cancer wow. and so at that point in time I kind of that particular Christmas I was standing outside the window looking in watching my family decorate the tree yeah and it was kind of one of those moments you know when you go okay I really need to make some lifestyle changes or I'm going to be watching this from a much higher distance yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the, that was that was kind of my wake up call and with that you know I started um, looking into uh, taking better care of myself taking better care of my children and and started stepping on that path um, as I learned the more I learned about the different foods and what was working for me and what wasn't um, each step was just um, that much closer to better health and so um, with that, um, at that point in time, I was also walking quite a few of my family members, mm -hmm. various ones had various um, issues of their health. Um, my oldest brother was going through um, colon cancer mm -hmm. and we was walking that journey with him. And um, my mother had been diagnosed as well. So it was kind of an ar um, arduous point in time in my life. But it was one that faith was very important for me to hold on to at that point in time, um, staying connected to source, those sorts of things really helped me get through um, what I needed to get through and to find the time to learn um, with raising two young kids, <laughs> you know, um, and, and to learn um, what was, you know, what I wasn't taught as a, as a young person, um, as far as foods and those sorts of things, um, I wanted to do better for my children and to teach them a better way of life. So I just continued on that path. It's so fantastic because once you do go down that discovery journey, it's incredible when you start to get in tune with your body and, and really feel what feels good and what doesn't. Because as you said, we, you know, as we growing up, it wasn't a huge focus on, you know, you just ate your greens and you ate this and that. But then nowadays we're looking at gluten, we're looking at dairy. There's so many other aspects to look at. And gut health is such a focus and so important. And, you know, unfortunately, often it takes a bit of a wake up call for us to stop and start to review, you know, do the inside work and start to have a look at what's working for us and what's not. And, you know, luckily you had a near scare and had a lot of family around you where you were able to sort of slowly navigate your way through it. Um, you know, gut health, it's just so important, isn't it? It is. It is. And that's one thing that um, I think, our our health is that is the stem of our health is our our stomach 
Oh, it's absolutely. So, so important. Yeah. So 70% of our immune system comes from our gut, you know, mm-hmm. and it's about 10% of messages go from our head down to our gut. So, you know, when you're feeling anxious or getting butterflies, you're feeling it in your gut. That's only 10% of the messages. 90% go from your gut up to your head. So can you imagine the inflammation that's going on in your brain, like when from your gut and you're not even aware of it? And that's why I'm so passionate like you about really looking after your health and your wellness and your gut because it's over time that constant inflammation is going to present itself as all these other you know parkinson's and ms and all these other um illnesses that start to present so yeah i'm so i'm so into it so um what do you think is your superpower your magic or your essence why are people drawn to you specifically um I think I kind of get them from point A to point B at a quicker pace Mm -hmm. because I have, I kind of have that knowledge and I can kind of tune into them and share information that they need. Um, So, so it helps them kind of get from point a to point b at a at a faster pace yeah so so you sort of like intuitively can feel into where they're at yeah that's so aligning with their energy and um you know you and i both work with energy and, and it really is the way forward and i'm just really loving what you're getting into which we'll talk about that in a minute but because i just wanted to ask what do you think is the biggest issue facing your clients you know I think with sugar, it's, it's so it's in everything. And so for some, it's just the knowledge of, you know, um, being able to, to how many words have they hidden it under (laughs) and those sorts of things. Yes. And, um, you know, the knowledge, so kind of cutting all the, the malarkey out of the way and, (laughs) <laughs> and getting them right to right to the um you know the factor of whole foods yeah. clean food organic yeah. food and um going that route yeah yeah absolutely um yeah sh- sugar is hidden in everything it's like salt but sugar it's it's more addictive than cocaine and people don't realize and I was having a chat with my son who's got stuff going on and I just go sugar you just don't realize it's just mm-hmm. you know got to get it out and emotionally when we we're craving sugar we're craving that sweetness in life so you know everything is stopping and reviewing when you can stop and pause and start to look at your own body and look at your own habits and why you're doing that what are you actually craving for right and as you said everything is hidden these days it's like in 20 different languages on the back of packets it's hidden with numbers it's hidden with different words and Oh, yeah, absolutely. So sugar or the lack of knowledge around it is probably the biggest issue. So what do you think, um, based on your knowledge, experience and wisdom, what are your three top tips that would help people start to um, have this awareness about the sugar or, or, you know, how to look after themselves better? Well, one tip I like to recommend is a lot of people don't understand that even rice, white rice, Mm -hmm. has a higher sugar load than brown rice Mm -hmm. so even that little diet diet shift yeah can reduce the amount of sugar that they're having in a meal um of course you know uh i i found it kind of fascinating that watermelon actually has a lower glycemic load than grapes oh really yeah right so so to um enjoy some watermelon versus grapes if you're if you know you have too much sugar in your system um the third thing i like to work with organic honey Mm -hmm. as a as a supplement um you're getting the the organic honey helps your your allergies and that sort of thing from the environments that you're in and helps build your immune system so Mm -hmm. that's that's a big one yeah, I love that. Particularly, you can if you get local honey, because then the bees are in tune with the allergies, whatever for your particular area. What are your thoughts about um, maple syrup versus honey? You know, a lot of maple syrup has so much sugar added. So if you go with the organic um, maple syrup, smaller portions, it still is a higher um, higher sugar load, 
yeah. I find, but smaller portions is is good to have. Mm. And yeah. Yeah, manuka honey. Have you got into that? It's very expensive when you get the good quality, but yeah. higher, whatever the rating thing is or whatever. It's so good. So it helps boost your immune system big time. Yeah. Yeah, manuka. Yeah. Love that. So um I'll get into the other questions later on, but what I really love is the tools that you use in your practices with your clients. Do you want to share a little bit about that? Because we're both into um, sort of quantum physics or quantum medicine and energy and frequency. I think the frequency medicine is the way of the future. And what you're doing with your assessments with clients is really, as I said before, at the forefront. So if you would love to share about uh, the tools that sure. you work with your clients. Well, some of the tools that I like to use um, is is kind of based around uh, the one tool, the, the scanner that I use is based around kind of giving people a little bit more information um, about their body and what's taking place on a, on a regular basis, weekly or monthly. So, um, and then with that, we can play some frequencies that kind of helps um, regulate some of the things that might be out for them. So if it's okay, I'll go ahead and share my screen here a little bit and show um, one of the, uh, let me um, just show you here before I share my screen. Huh? This is the, the system that I use, AO scanner. And you put the um, headphones on so you get resonance. Oh, oh it's, is that like bone conducting headphones, that sort of thing? Bone conducting headphones. Yep, yep, yep. And so it can record your voice when you're doing a recording and get information. And let me go ahead and share here. Here's um, some of the, some of the, let's see. Oh, yep, I can see it all on the screen. Great. Some of the, um, the reports that you can run, you can run a quick scan, an easy scan, inner voice, vitals, body scan, comprehension. On Selfie, you can actually create playlists that are individual. So if you have um, specific things, like I love to focus on helping people release sugar. So sometimes candida can be an issue. Yeah. Um, you can create a playlist and send frequencies, kind of like a radio station to help assist them love this so and what then you use your ao scanner that the phone and you scan through the body then it creates these little reports is that right and then you go through it on this app. yeah yeah i could show you here a quick um a quick let me see if i can so the easy scan we can go through and as you speak into the um the system I and you, i can do this today is february 29th 2024 it's a bit rainy outside but we're having a good day oh and so because it didn't change screen which is fine so you've just pressed on Again, and then if you've just spoken into it and it's scanning your voice is that correct yes I, I apologize I thought it was sharing no that's okay it's a zoom thing you just have to stop share and then go back into that page but it's all good so the easy scan is you you talking into it and it scans your voice over a few seconds and so it gets in tune with your frequency mm -hmm. I just love all this so how how long have you been getting how long ago did you get into frequency stuff oh wow that looks wild i can see it i can see it so can you see it now sorry about that <laughs> no 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 all good so that's yeah scanning right so and you you can notice the different so it goes into vitals mm -hmm. and so this was a scan i took earlier today so it's just kind of going through the different different sections you can see it's going looking at the blood one and two now yep right so, Do you particularly work with people with sugar issues? Um, you know, I work with a variety of people, 
I, I'm passionate about sugar issues, mm -hmm. but I work with a variety of people with multiple um, things that they want to work towards. Mm -hmm. And um, so something like generally, like physical stuff or gut stuff or just generally anything. Physical stuff. Um, yeah, just generally anything. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, our our health is very important. Mm -hmm. And so a, a lot of things, um, even if it's like your romance or whatever, can be tied to your health. So absolutely it, it's it's a holistic approach right it's the mind the body and the soul so it's working with your emotions with your physical body with your your connection soul connection passion purpose joy in life all that sort of stuff so this is very very detailed so it's going through all different levels it's oh, and you can see the nutritional analysis now that it's yep. doing and yep. I don't, i'm not for sure if you can hear on the on your end of the video but it's playing different notes so it's actually helping calibrate right as it's Red bumps as we talk about it because you can hear it, hear it very um just very remotely but yeah so it's like a mm, or a different like uh frequency i suppose it's aligning into this is so fascinating so it's very detailed scan just based on tuning into your voice's frequency or your 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 frequency and scanning through there this is so good See, this takes health and well-being to a whole new level where you're digging deeper, right? Going into people's resonance fields, right? So yeah. going this deeper level and unveiling or discovering or peeling back to real core issues here. Yes. And what's fascinating about this particular tool is I can work with it here. Um, I can scan people in Australia, London, um, Japan, I can scan people right in my town and they get, um, I, I even had a gal the other, just the other day, tell me from Australia, she, how sensitive it was because she had only cut up strawberries. So she'd only touched them and cut them for her son, yeah. but they showed up on, on the scan. Wow. 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 So it shows food sensitivities. And so for some people in order to um to deal with the different different you know is it the cheese is it the yogurt is it what is it that's setting off the candida in our tummies or yeah you know um, those sorts of things this tool can come in pretty handy to help us kind of oh I love it look 20 years ago I used to do the hair analysis and you know go through your sensitivities that way and kinesiology but this one's tuning into your own frequency and just saying this is just out of alignment this is destabilized this is destabilized in this area very very detailed and really relatively quickly and this is just from you know a short um as you said an easy scan that's you just talking into it and tuning yeah. in yeah and then a, a quick report will come up mm -hmm. and with that i can send that um via the email and I can also play the um, information for them. But as well, you can imprint oh, so cool. the different, the different um, tablets there. Wow. Don't know what half these words are, but insomnia, that's a big one for people, right? So that's, I can see it's right. coming up and, uh, is that Epstein Barr virus, Candida? Candida would be, you know, big one, yeah. Sugar, mm hmm. Or cheese. I've been, <laughs> I've been indulging a bit on the cheese. <laughs> I know. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so and I know. <laughs> <laughs> and I, and I'm grateful I have the <laughs> the system yeah. to work with. Yeah, so. I mean, because that's right. It's a sometimes food thing, but this is so perfect because you you're just balancing yourself, right, as you go along. And I really right. like and so with so with these, I can email this information to people. Mm -hmm. And they can take and go imprint 
Well, it, I apologize. That's not going to work on my on my play, but you can actually imprint it from just about um, any flat screen into yep. water, and then and then drink those individual um, homeopathy remedies. Yep, yep. perfect. So. Yeah, because it's all it's all energy, right? And it's just just working through. Because I, I got right into homeopathy, studied it back in the nineties, because I was fascinated by how vibrations and frequencies can be <laughs> can uh, affect the body and you know help heal. It's uh... and, yeah, and for me, I, you know, after I completed my plant medicine course at, at Cornell, I'm like, how at my age am I going to learn all these plants? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, and you know i'm adding turmeric to my diet do i still need my turmeric supplements yeah yeah and the system helps me to determine that and that's what i love about it because you can put your supplements into the system yeah and if if you still need the supplement in addition to having that in the meal it'll let you know I just love that because particularly through COVID, you know, personally I was taking so many supplements and then it ended up that I had just very expensive wee because it was just being passed through and I didn't need it. So, yeah, I went and then got it tested and realised, oh, I don't need this and I don't need that. But um, how many of us are trying to do the right thing and we're buying all these very expensive supplements or taking all these herbs and then sometimes our body says, no, that's enough, I don't need it anymore. So when is the off switch, right? So this is really handy to just really tune into your body at a deeper level, it's the deepest level possible really, into your own frequency or your resonance and find out what, what you're needing and what you're not and what, where you're lacking. I think it's such a powerful tool, Kathy. Yeah, and what I love about it is like you can put, you can scan in one drop of iodine, two drops of iodine, three oh. drops of iodine, to help keep our, our endocrine system in balance. How much do we need? Do we even need it today? And it will tell us, you know, give us, give us some feedback at least. And we're not just, you know, over, overdoing it or underdoing it. So it just, it made me laugh because for years I'd be doing the iodine and you put it on your skin and then if it absorbs, you're needing it. And if it doesn't, it doesn't. You're walking around with these big sort of orangey yellow patches all over your body. And it was so messy. <laughs> so, I mean, that was then and this is now, and this is working smarter, not harder, right? Having a, right. so how does it work for people? Do they, you do the scan and then you send this them out to people or? Yeah, either or um, they can, some people choose to have the app themselves and they want to have it in their hands and work with it that way. Or I can work, you know, with my clients with it and, and kind of um, guide them. Some people are like, I don't want anything more to learn. I just want to deal with letting go of the sugar and that's all. So yeah. it, it, but it can be either or. So yeah, so what a powerful journey you've been on. To, this is why I really think this is the forefront of the way forward. This is frequency medicine and it's it's finally tuning into your body and saying, and as you said, it's, it could be just one drop of iodine that you're requiring or two or three. So it's really personalising it for your own body and for what it's needing because each day it's different, you know, and we all... Yeah. We try to live a balanced life, but, you know, some days we have the cheese and some days we have a couple of drinks or whatever it is. And it's just retuning your body every day, restabilizing it because, um, yeah, we've, we're living in such a toxic world and there's toxicity all around us, you know, just in, in the air we breathe. And then pollution and all the other things and, and what's that doing to ourselves inside and to our organs. So it's tuning in there. So I think that's super, super powerful. <laughs> Well, and too, like if you if you have an injury or something, you can um, zero in on that part of the body and mm -hmm. kind of do a scan. You know, if you've twisted your ankle or something, you can tune in on the, under the body systems and just um, work with that individual piece. You know, do I need to go to the doctor? <laughs> sort of and get some more some more information. And so it's kind of a nice tool to have in that Um um, realm as well as just overall you know did I did I pull a ligament did I stretch a muscle or mm. do I have a broken bone <laughs> sort of thing 
Um, wow. So your life has done a 360 from those few years ago when you're just on the verge of becoming ill and you're going down this discovery path, becoming the te- detective of your own body and becoming <laughs> own and, you know, and coming across this. And as I said earlier, we both are working in sort of the quantum realm and frequencies are the, you know, it's, it's the new language. It's the new health, isn't it? And it's just stabilizing ourselves as we're becoming more and more sensitive beings. And so you can understand that the body is more in tune to things. And you know when you're eating food that doesn't suit you and you just get the blowing or you get the gas or you get just, you know, I don't know, stiffness, soreness. The body is an amazing, amazing machine that has an, a huge innate ability to heal. And you're just enabling this healing process to be quicker. As you said, you have quicker results with your clients. Yeah, yeah. And it's interesting. A lot of times I'll I'll do a scan and somebody will say like, oh, I thought coffee was bothering me. And it shows up on the scan and it's like, so it's it confirms things too that people already kind of know but they don't want to you know I don't want to go there yeah 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 yeah, yeah. even though even though green tea is a little healthier for us than the than the coffee but (laughs) yeah a lot of people are like no uh, you know but it's nice to have that confirmation to say yeah I should step back you know maybe um, I think part of Part of the secret is really listening to your body and listening to what it's trying to tell you because it will scream at you until you stop and listen. It's just sending you messages where something's not right and it's just tapping you on the shoulder saying, hey, mate, really. And, uh, yeah, I know because back in the 90s I was working in broking and banking and uh, to have a break was a coffee break and they had those old instant coffees and with the disgusting milk and even just thinking about it now, (laughs) almost gags me and it just didn't sit right in my body and I'd go home from work and I'd just be I'd feel so toxic and so I haven't drunk coffee since mid 90s or early 90s and I'd love the smell of it but just when I visualize just think of coffee I just think of this instant coffee which was bitter with this disgusting milk sitting on top it's like almost like that UHT milk that you get on the airplanes and stuff and it just it just turns my stomach (laughs) But it, it, back then, it was just my body was saying, no, this is disgusting, disgusting. <laughs> You've got to listen to it. You just know when it doesn't work. And um, I don't eat dairy. And and for the first time ever, I was out at a function or something and someone had some saganaki. I don't know if you're familiar with saganaki and you put it in the pan and it's quite nice. And I just had a little bit. Well, honestly, the next day I was paying for it all day and I just thought at the time I thought, I'm going to pay for this, but it did was so delicious and uh well you we're, we're all the we, same it's a it's a yeah. sometimes food it's having a bit of balance but you know listening to your body I know oh god 10 15 years ago I stopped eating bread and it was so much better like I couldn't believe I felt lighter not so heavy I didn't get the bloating I mean gluten that's a whole other thing isn't it you know people don't yeah. realize how inflammatory gluten is I think the whole world should be gluten-free. That's just my opinion. Sugar-free. I think so too. (laughs) I agree with that very much. (laughs) All these things are starting to come to people's awareness. You know, the old, you know, the old, what was it? The hierarchy of foods or whatever the the food pyramid is. I mean, that Mm -hmm. should be chucked out the window. And when you really research into how that came about, it was the big companies pushing it and it wasn't from a, from a health perspective really so what do you think is the best way to eat uh more greens and vegetables mm-hmm. more the better the more variety I yeah. think yeah. I look at it as the more variety you have the more um kind of uh health um forces it puts a lot of variety of force mm. into your to your body so as in life force yeah life force yeah life force just kind of uh protection you know your own shield against things that we have no control over so it really you know just kind of building your own inner force you are giving me goosebumps all down my back that is such a big download that's fantastic because you are creating your own armor right to to go 
deal with the world against this toxic world because it is it's fresh is best and lots and lots of greens and lots of color absolutely and anything packaged and processed chuck that out you know minimal and anything with numbers oh my goodness so if you have to read the back of the packet it's a sometimes thing <laughs> it back in the day right it used to be just all fresh fruit and, and veggies and a few couple of aisles. Now you go into supermarkets, it's all aisles with just a couple of the fresh fruit and veggies. So, uh, and then when you get into how much stuff is sprayed and when it's picked and put in the in the fridges for months before, and it's frightening when you really start to become the detective into where your foods come from and what's in it. And then we could go down the whole epigenetics line, but that's a whole other conversation. <laughs> But these days we have to take ownership and responsibility for our own health and well-being and really start to look at what we're putting into our mouths and where it's coming from because we unfortunately there's so much toxicity and sprays on foods and then what is that spray doing to our gut? What's that doing to our health? And as I said, the inflammation on the brains and, you know, the um presenting illnesses down the track with Parkinson's, MS, a whole heap of different stuff, which is all linked to ongoing inflammation in the gut. So what is inflaming your gut? Let's calm it down. All these autoimmune diseases, right? It's just, it's such an increase in um, if we can just take a bit more responsibility. So using something like your scanner, where you can become more in tune with your body, find out what works for you, what doesn't, find out where there's an imbalance or instability, and then just amend it. And you can do it through imprinting these different frequencies. So it's a no-brainer, really, for a, a cheaper way to get your health back on track. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to, to go and get... Um a lot of blood tests to find out. And I did the whole, you know, going in and trying to be injected with all the things I was allergic to <laughs> did that for many years. And, um, I found that just eliminating some of the foods out of my diet, yep. I no longer have to have injections of, um, things to keep, you know, I'm not, I'm no longer allergic to grass, mm -hmm. no longer allergic to hay. It's like it, it was the food that I was putting into my body that brought my immune system like into defense mode all yeah. the time. So powerful. Yeah. I, when I got into homeopathics back in the 90s, that's how I overcame all of my allergies. And once again, it was the frequencies. But food, you know, dairy, very inflammatory as well for lots of things with sinus. And oh, we could go on about that forever. So. Yeah. I over your time with upon your journey that you've been on so far, what, how do you think, my, I've got this mantra, let go, step up and be more. So what do you think you've let go of? Where do you feel you've stepped up and where have you become more of yourself? Well, I let go of sugar. Mm -hmm. yeah, um, yeah. So uh, that that was a major. I let go of gluten. That was a major. Um, I The only dairy that I um work with at this point is cheese i try to go with an organic um you know organic version of that and an organic version of butter but i do still have some dairy in my system so not i haven't quite let go of all of that um still love my pizza <laughs> yeah, it doesn't right yeah and you know butter butter is actually good i mean fats are really good you need fats right fat. right so yeah butter is good. long yeah and I cook with ghee because yeah. it you can go at a higher temperature yeah. with the ghee so I use that for cooking um what have I stepped up to I think was the other question yeah, um, so expanding your life stepped up I mean I, I think really stepping up and in, into your your frequency alignment or you know into that level I don't know yeah into um a higher vibration of life force I believe there you go. Gosh, you're good with the words. High vibration of life force. I love it. I'm getting so many goosebumps down my back. I love <laughs> life force. I think that's that's what you're the queen of. That's what you really <laughs> are. That's where your superpower is too. I'm going to put that in there as part of your superpower. So that's part of you tuning into people's vibrations, right? And help. Yeah, yeah. Helping bring them up to the same vibration. Yeah. Mm, mm. Oh, that's awesome. And just be more of yourself. You know, how, how have you found you've just become more confident or comfortable in your own skin or? Um, I guess 
when I know that I'm, I'm helping other people to let go of, like you said, the old coffee made you feel, ugh. Yeah, the yeah. old ways of feeling, ugh, you know, <laughs> to that, um, that's how I feel the best is when I'm helping other people let go of that lifestyle and, and step into a new, healthier version of themselves. Oh, I love it. Healthy version of themselves. Let's really nice down version of themselves. That's awesome. That's awesome. So at the end of the day, what are you most passionate about? What drives you? What gets you out of bed? What keeps you going? Is it that just helping people create their a new, new, better version of themselves? Well, that and, you know, I, I have younger children. I want a better planet for my children and their children's children and their children's children. <laughs> so um, I'm passionate about bringing, you know, sustainability forward. Oh, right on my alley. That's brilliant. That's brilliant. Yeah, which is that part of the next question, you know, how would you like to be remembered down the track, you know, and it's sort of as a I so really see you at the forefront of of change in in helping people adapt little small changes into their life to just create this more sustainable um life for themselves as well with health and wellness. Well, thank you. Thank you. That's very special. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you're very um what's the word when you don't blow your horn too much you know and you, you keep it all under wraps and I just think what you're doing is amazing and that's why I wanted to get you on the show and just talk about what you do because it's we're normalizing this sort of um the, these tools that you can use right so and and doing it so much quicker and deeper that's what I just love about the work that we're doing is that we can help people instantly like right on the spot you don't need to wait for these blood tests and then try this course of pills or try this adaptation like straight away go right get off the get off the eggs or get off whatever and um and here's a frequency to align you and you can start right. quicker, quicker yeah and and sometimes the frequencies can adjust enough that they don't have to step away from certain foods yeah um, it it's a possibility so but I, I haven't met anybody on the planet yet that's doing really great on sugar. <laughs> Just haven't met them. <laughs> no, I know. It's so funny because I've got four kids and I had them all, all in four years and I breastfed them all to 15 months. Anyway, throughout all of that process, I was always craving chocolate. I was eating almost like a block of fruit and nut chocolate and having chocolate milkshakes. So like this is 20 years ago. And, but I was just craving it, right? I cannot look at sugar these days. I cannot touch. I don't have anything sweet. Like I can't do it. I haven't eaten chocolate. So that was just at the time that I was going through. My body was craving it. I don't know. Maybe it was, you know, I don't know what it was, but it was needing to replenish. <laughs> but I, I cannot have anything sweet. I just, oh, just can't do it. Actually, dark chocolate is very healthy for us. Mm. It's high in copper. And so when our body's uh, rebuilding stem cells, mm -hmm. it, it needs the copper. Oh, it's and copper, so isn't it? I didn't realize it's copper. copper. Yeah. So I also work with another um, another technology, a photolight therapy technology, mm -hmm. which is um, a, a form of patches. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, let's talk about those. Yeah. Wafer thin. Yep. And so the X39 um, works with our our own body's system and reactivates our our stem cells like they were in our when we were in our mid 20s. So yeah. our stem cells slow down at age 25. And actually, our stem cells um, require copper to a certain extent. So you being nursing and that sort of thing was maybe needing more nutrients yeah. during that period of time. So yeah, but this, yeah sorry, go on. This will help um, like if if you're if you feel that you've done a lot, your body's had a lot of damage done from the sugar. Mm. This can this can come in and help, especially if you're like me past the age of 25. <laughs> keep, keep double it, keep going. Yeah. Yeah. 25, 50, you know, <laughs> um, 
it helps it helps to kind of reestablish that um, a GHKCU copper peptide in the body. Right, right. So and so that that activates it just with photolight therapy, no drugs. It's yeah. all natural. Nothing enters your body. Just just your own body basically reflecting back and working with its itself. Mm. And so those little patches, can you show them again? They're like little wafer things. Sure. They're like little wafers. Yep. So I work with these. Um and there's a there's a product actually within the company that um works with uh craving sugar cravings. Mm -hmm. And so for some people I'll recommend to work with that. Um mm -hmm. And I have had quite a bit of uh, feedback that those are positively helping. Like, you know, if you're working in the corporate industry or going into business meetings, the donuts and the cakes and the, the you yeah. know, and it's really hard some days when you're, you're, you know, you have that trigger that's happened yeah. Yeah. and you're like, there it is. And working with the, this particular um, product, just kind of has it helps you hold that okay I can make it till I get home and I can have my organic blueberries <laughs> or something yeah. you know like that sort of thing so yeah and so um the photo light therapy little patches and you you place them in specific places for yeah uh, and you can work with them um on energy meridians at different mm -hmm. points in time yeah they're kind of interesting in in different aspects of of the body and in a sense it kind of creates uh, until your you get your armor built your life force energy built it yeah. kind of creates some armor around you while you're doing that if that you know as as the stem cells are you know working on your organs working on you know the various parts maybe even down to the bones you know yeah. It just depends on on what you know, what areas maybe um, the sugar is taking a toll on your body. Yeah, I love it. I do have a couple of clients that use those patches, and if I'm training them, and I've got patches all over. Go, oh, just excuse my patches, but yeah. <laughs> oh, it's powerful. So behind you, we've got the uh, the um, uh, something of yeah. life. The, the flower of life wow. and I do like to work with sacred geometry yeah. and so I also work with the flower of life with my with my clients and um, bring in different um, meditations and those sorts of things for them to listen to and work with to help um, bring down like a lot of times we turn to sugar because of the emotions so um, to help kind of Yep. Re recalibrate and re uh refigure the uh neurotransmitters. Well, fantastic. So, you know, the flower of life I, I love because um I've just created some clothing with the flower of life, incorporating that in some leggings and some shorts um and hot pants because legs are about moving forward in life. And I'm just thinking sacred geometry is so integral to our creation phase so yeah it's just i can't believe i couldn't think of the word flower of life i'm going to term you the life force reset queen right because i think that's what you are, because you've got <laughs> oh, thank you. ways to do it and yeah this is as i said this is the new way of living now is resetting your life force and re working with your energy to get it more stabilized and in tune. And, and I think it's so much, it's so important that we take responsibility and ownership. No longer can we just keep going out to the doctors and saying, fix me. It's just like we need to fix ourselves and become detectives in our own health and well being and our own bodies and really put on the goggles and start, you know, peeling back the layers and going, what's going on here and taking responsibility for it because. For starters, the health system cannot accommodate, you know, the ageing population and doesn't have beds. And a lot of it, we can heal ourselves when we just start to take ownership. But first of all, we had to stop and have that awareness of ourselves and our body and get more in tune with ourselves and, and see what feels right, what doesn't. Like we were saying, you know, when you're eating something and it just doesn't, it doesn't sit right with us. And so it's really starting, just start with little small steps to get in tune with yourself and your body. And list, start listening to it because it's going to scream at you until you stop yeah. and listen. <laughs> and I think yeah, 
both been down that path, right? You, you're, that's how your path started. And, you know, out of every situation, there's always a silver lining, no matter if it's, you know, a, a cancer scare or whatever, it's still, there's learnings and blessings to be taken from, from each experience. So, yeah, fantastic. So, Kathy, where can people uh, reach out and get hold of you and find out more about all of this life force resetting? <laughs> a touch of oneness.com. That's fantastic. And I think you've got recipes and you've got different things and reach out to, to Kathy to find out about having a scan because, as you said, you can work with anyone over Zoom anywhere in the world. Anywhere. Yeah. yeah. And um, you help them just reach out and have a chat and talk about the patches, the scans, about diet, all different things. So, yeah, I just think you are such an awesome chick who, who just doesn't blow her own horn enough. I think it's time to get you out there and normalise these conversations and, as we said, help people take ownership for their own health and wellbeing because it's time to do that. Yes, yes. And I have to say your lovely clothing with all the beautiful colours is so needed right now. Oh. I love that you put the flower of life on the moving forward part of the leg. That yes. is so perfect. It, it just so makes perfect. It made a moment. It's incorporating the three elements to be the master creator. So it's sacred geometry, it's DNA, and it's the Egyptian six elements. So creating in the void, having the spark in the in the fire, amplifying that in the air, turning it into something real in the ether element, then going with the flow and allowing it to grow in the water element and then earthing it in the ankhema. Um anchoring in the earth element so that's that's just one part of it sacred geometry and forming it into something solid and then dna which is activating all the different light codes to we we right. are the master creators of our lives and when we start to really step up and take ownership of our lives we're not here for a long time we're here for a good time baby <laughs> <laughs> We want to help people just have a good time because life's about being healthy, healthy and happy, right? So let's just help people do that now, not wait till tomorrow, but like let's start taking ownership now. So, Kathy, thank you so much for coming on Magic Mike Moments. Are there any parting words of wisdom you'd like to share? Um, your health is your wealth. <laughs> I'm just going to stick with that. Your health is your wealth. And Absolutely. We Absolutely. have a good, good uh, life force. We have a good life. Oh, and, oh, I love that. We have a good life force and we have a good life. I love that. And we have a good life. Uh, lots of great, fantastic quotes today and we have a good life. <laughs> <laughs> well, Kathy, thank you so much. I'll put your contacts down there, but it's touchofoneness.com. Reach out to Kathy. She is an awesome chick and really it's time to just step up and uh, get in tune with our bodies more and you can help people do that in a, in a fast and deep healing way. Thank you. Thank you so much, Sally. I so appreciated this. Thank oh, you. Thank you, Rock. Thank you, Rock. So we'll chat again soon. Thanks again, Kathy. Thank you. See you soon. Bye. Bye-bye.